got a few basic tips for using the comparator generator. The first one is basically a little bit of information about clips in the storyline. I've set an in and out point for this clip here. You can see the region is selected and I've added it here to the storyline. At any time you can select the clip in the storyline and type Shift F. And I want you to notice that over here in the event browser you can see where the playhead is. There is also a mark for the playhead. If I move this over to this end and Shift F, the playhead moves to this position here. This is going to be very important for the comparator. So when you add the generator, and all you want to do is test the color adjustments against the original, and you want to synchronize the clips. Uh, this is how it's done. And you can add the comparator, type the up arrow key, and that will align the playhead with the left edge of the comparator. And it sets the position in the clip in, in the storyline. I select the clip in the storyline, type Shift F, and I've got a mark for where the playhead is. I can come back, and as long as I don't hit the Shift F again, I can move the playhead anywhere for a mark here. Now, one of the easiest ways to tell if something's out of a line is if you set the arrangement from a vertical arrangement to a horizontal arrangement like this. So I'll click on the drop zone. Now, this is pretty tight resolution. So my next tip is expand this out a little bit so that when you come close to the playhead, you're actually on the right frame. You can see where the pointer is pointing to with the scan line. So all you have to do is match the scan line to the playhead and it actually snaps a little. Then click and apply and okay we're off by a frame and an easy fix for this is to type the comma or period keys to nudge the comparator by frames left or right. Okay, and that will bring it in sync um, just for a quick and easy demonstration. Just make sure. And that should be synchronized. One more tip. When you add the comparator to the storyline and you're moving back and forth making adjustments like this to uh, check one side or the other, uh, it's very easy to forget which one of these is selected. So I recommend selecting the comparator and turning off the color board right away. So when you make a color correction to the clip and you move back to the comparator to make a movement, the color board for the comparator disappears and you cannot make an adjustment for that. You can come back And there you go. So synchronize your clip. And make your color adjustments compared side by side. And you can even animate the comparator to go from one effect to the other like the Claritin Clear commercial, for example. 
So I hope you find this useful, and I'll catch you on the next one.